A couple of years ago I started this project and it was called the Kiteman Orchestra and it got a proper boost so all of a sudden I was able to do things that before I wasn't really able to do. Yeah, my way of, um, of kind of enjoying that freedom of movement was to get a big studio space and invite over uh, all these people I really liked and what they were doing creatively uh, throughout the country and sort of like, hey, build a studio here and see what happens. Uh, I was looking for a creative environment where musicians would be able to meet up and play together and work together and oh yeah, in the end, um, me and my dad, we ended up setting it up ourselves. And um, now Kytopia is a place where we have approximately about, yeah, I think about 22 music studios and Oh, what is it? There's uh, uh, there's video artists here as well, production offices, labels, uh, management, all the stuff you need as a musician to just develop. But uh, everything is basically run from a yeah, for the love of it all. Pito is actually one of the guys who is renting a studio here, um, and uh, at some point he came up with this idea. Um, he already organized the Stecker festivals and stuff like that, which was uh, a lot of parties uh, throughout the country. He uh, he ran. And at some point he had this idea to just invite over all these creative people and put them in one place from all over the world, just kind of expand the idea we have going on here, but then doing like a very big uh, blown up Excel version of it. The idea was something which is primarily like primarily Pitto's thing, but he was thinking that he wanted to do, because the, the, the festival and there was always people coming and then he had this amazing kind of community with like a lot of resources and space that would be a nice idea to have people who are like playing at a festival actually get to you know often people play festivals and they only know each other they know other artists from festivals but it's kind of this like blip and you know you go and you go oh hey uh you know nice to meet you i, I met you before like you have a drink watch their set or five minutes of their set because you don't have time and then life goes on but it's kind of a nice experience to get to see people that you are sort of your peers or different from your peers and that as well that you um, and having it like uh, to be to get a chance to like hang out with them and collaborate with some, some things or to and then maybe maybe not necessarily collaborate but at least maybe working on stuff yourself maybe you want to just do things by yourself but then you know you're around people and you can go and talk to them when you're taking breaks and you have like a like a nice community feeling you know so it doesn't it doesn't have to be like a some jam session necessarily but I mean it's just nice to be around people and someone you know you, someone you see someone like wants to add something for their record they're working on it they sit in a room by themselves for a couple hours and do stuff and then you come out and they you know take a cigarette break or a coffee break together or whatever don't smoke een van de vele hoogtepunten die ik me kan herinneren van afgelopen jaar studio stekker was um, Eigenlijk was dat van een collab, samenwerking tussen twee producers. Um, Eén daarvan was met Didemus, die het jaar daarvoor ook al bij Studio Stack was geweest. Die had het jaar erop eigenlijk een vriend van hem uitgenodigd. Van, goh, dit was zo te gek, je moet gewoon langskomen. Die hebben toen samen een paar dagen in de studio gezeten. En die liepen na twee dagen al helemaal thrilled naar buiten van, wauw, dit is zo te gek. We hebben zoveel te gekke dingen opgenomen, zo productief. En uh, dat is eigenlijk uitgemond in een project dat heet NIX. En uh, het mooie is dat ze dit jaar... Weer terugkomen om in de week van Studio Stekker een live set voor te bereiden. En dat was dan ook meteen de première uh, van hun live show eigenlijk. En nou, dat is, vind ik zelf al in die zin een hoogtepunt, als in dat het ja, natuurlijk echt iets is wat er uit, uit voortgekomen is. Maar dat is maar één heel klein voorbeeld, want er zijn heel veel projecten uit voortgekomen. Um, en uh, ja, dat doen natuurlijk ook zoveel artiesten aan mee die ook weer vrienden weer stimuleren om te komen. En er komen allerlei samenwerkingen uit voort. Uh, een ander hoogtepunt voor mij dit jaar is denk ik wel uh, dat we ook door de week meer dingen doen. Dus dat bijvoorbeeld op een maandagavond uh, een Francesco Tristano een pianoconcert geeft. En uh, niet, in zo, niet op zomaar een plek, maar ook in de oude zaal van Tivoli Vredeburg. En um, het, eigenlijk het idee daarachter was dat een, twee jaar geleden was er een moment een Thijs' studioweek. Waarbij in één keer in de studio in één keer een jam ontstond tussen uh, Liedmoor en uh, Colin, Colin Bendes. En dat was zo'n magische bubbel dat iedereen eromheen zat, heel dichtbij. En nou, dat, dat was zo echt gek dat 
uh, ik heel, het echt heel tof vind dat er nu op maandag um, een pianoconcert is, wat openbaar toegankelijk is voor mensen om naartoe toe te kunnen gaan. Om misschien zo'nzelfde bubbel te ervaren. Of dat gaat lukken, dat is natuurlijk de vraag. Maar uh, de combinatie van heel intiem en, en ook een uh, pianoconcert in de oude zaal van Tive Vredeburg vind ik heel vet. En uh, ook om daarbij ja, een andere hoek van muziek te laten horen. Dus uh, het zal een modern stuk zijn waarschijnlijk. Maar uh, het is ja, geen techno, bij wijze van. En op de zaterdag speelt dezelfde Francesca Tristano in een combinatie met Bram Brouwer Frik. En ja, wat dat weer gaat worden, dat is ook weer één grote... Uh, uh, ja, vraag of een, een vraagteken, maar dat zijn wel, ja, dat is een, een voorbeeld van een van de vele hoogtepunten waar ik naar uitkijk wat, wat dit jaar allemaal gaat plaatsvinden tijdens de Stekker. to work yeah. with my mentor, Howie B. He's flying in tomorrow. We didn't make any music together for about 10 years and I could never really find the right thing to do with him. And then uh, Stecker asked me back and I went, Howie, do you want to come with me? And he was like, yes. So you're going to see him tomorrow. And you'll and you're hear his side. I happen to think it was right about January this you know, it wasn't in January, it was I think Christmas Day. Sai Sai called me and said, uh, first of all, happy Christmas to me. And then he goes, Look how we uh, we've got to we've got to come out I've just I d I've been last year I was, he came here to Utrecht and he said he was brilliant. He hooked up with great kids, great guys, great everything. You know, the, the whole environment was good and I, I should have, come and have a taste of it. And that's what I'm doing now. Last night finished this morning. We're recording some brilliant guitar, we're recording some great uh, flugelhorn. Uh, we made, we were working on two different systems. We were working uh, on uh, sort of you know, uh, logic, which is what I was working on. I was creating a groove in logic, and Simon and Francesca created some chords and some vocal slips and bits and bobs. Uh, and they'd done that in another system. I took I took what they had done, sort of built a groove on it, and gave it back to them. They did some other bits. They gave it back to me. Then, uh, I, yeah. Then other people came and started playing on what we had created, and it was just a, a crazy environment. It was brilliant. We were right up at the top of the building, uh, getting just. I think playing around with different sounds, different textures, putting it all together. It was great. It was it was it was a beautiful, beautiful evening. Great, very creative, very musical and very social. Yeah. Waar ik vorig jaar uh, toch nog steeds een beetje zoeken was voor mensen. Uh, op dag één echt een introductiedag was. Was nu gewoon iedereen was meteen aan de slag. Iedereen zette gelijk zo'n machine, zijn computer neer, pakte een synthesizer en ging aan het werken. Dat is echt prachtig om te zien. En je ziet nu ook dat meer, meer mensen komen binnen met een plan. Uh, dus ik wil dit gaan doen, ik wil dat gaan doen. En uh, ik ga daar ook die apparaten bij gebruiken. Aan de andere kant is het natuurlijk nog steeds zo dat mensen naar ons toe komen van: hé, hey, ik ken dat apparaat helemaal niet. Uh, uh, zou ik daarmee kunnen opnemen, kunnen we wat over vertellen? Nou, dat doen wij dan met veel plezier. They make a sound like nothing else. This this makes a sound like nothing else. 
I mean, these guys, you know, sonar traffic, they know the machines and they're one-offs. So they're special because there's nothing else like them and they're all different. I mean, all the synths generally, but there, I mean, there's some real, real rarities. I mean, the System 700, the Roland, like the, and whatever, the Syrinx, which I've never, never seen, you know? The... Yeah, I mean, we, we stole the Syrinx, the Synton Syrinx again, uh, because it's just something you never find anywhere else. And, uh, uh, but I really wanted to get my hand on the Roland System 700. Um, the people up there at Sonar Traffic were so generous to lend me this. Um, I'm fully, and it is a beast. Een aantal van de mensen die hier deze kant op gaan komen vooral heel veel gaat draaien om uh, wat experimentelere elektronica. Uh, we hebben een paar hele toffe artiesten um, die deze kant op komen. Een andere Richard Divine en Mark Verbels die heel veel doen met dit soort modulaire synthesizers. En dat vind ik zelf super interessant. En daarnaast uh, komen er ook weer een paar mensen terug van, uh, van de voorgaande jaren. Zoals uh, uh, Francis, die is er weer bij uh, van Pentatones. We hebben um, um, uh, Magic Johnson, die, uh, die komt voor deze kant op, de mol. Dat zijn allemaal mensen waar het voor, uh, vorig jaar heel gezellig mee was. Dus ik denk eigenlijk dat dit gewoon weer een heel erg leuke editie gaat worden. En deze keer kunnen we ze ontvangen in een studio die al wel uitgepakt is in plaats van het overal nog dozen en weet ik het allemaal staan. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what I think is really cool about coming out to see other people that use this technology to make music is that you see people's different approaches uh, to patching and to building a song or um, everyone has sort of a different take on things so you learn from that I think that's what's the most interesting part of coming out to an event like this is watching people's workflows and um, giving you new ideas even for myself I'm using been using these things for a while and uh, I always surprised oh I, that's a cool way to do that and uh, so it's a uh, it's very edu educational for me to come see uh, um, to be a part of something like this. So it's, it's cool, it's an all round thing. Good thing. Ja, om te zien wat hier naast gebeurt, wat collega's aan het doen is, uh, Richard, uh, dat uh, ik zie heel erg uit naar morgenavond, de modulation. Ik, uh, heel goed, dus dat, uh, ben heel benieuwd hoe het uh, gaat klinken allemaal. Uh, I feel like uh, there's more of a focus this year um, with my own self as well as everyone else involved. It's like really working. I mean, there's uh, just kind of, I don't know if it'll turn into that again this year or not, but it was, I don't know, it was a nice mess at times, kind of jamming sessions and stuff. I think we're going to try and set up something like that again in this room. That's been a really popular question. I've been asking everybody that same question. Have you, have you, uh, uh, what's your plan? And a uh, really nice amount of people saying no plan. You know? Really, like, kind of amazing. It's true though. Like, you've got a plan. But, but a lot of people don't. That dude recording right now has got a plan. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I, my plan was to uh, record more, that's it, actually. Yeah, still keep that whole jam thing that I liked so much last year, but just try and maybe have something to listen to later. I talked to Pito a little bit before about what was here, and I've got, um, so far, like five, I think, pretty much done album tracks that I'm gonna try and get mixed in, on, the, on the SSL downstairs. And, and, uh, yeah, give it that million dollar polish and yeah, and, and otherwise, I mean, whatever, also just to be here and 
to jam and then to and to meet people and, and, and enjoy the, the facility in general, you know. But if, if yeah, I mean if I walked out after with the week done with like the full album then I'd be really happy. You know? I'll maybe get one track done, hopefully, that I can play, but I'm doing DJ set because that's more my my comfort zone. So. With Francesco, but how we're gonna do that, and even in which setup, I think we haven't decided yet. I mean, probably we'll play some of his pieces, some of ours, and something we did here. Dowd and I are supposed to do something together. We'll see. We'll see what that happens. I mean, we're, the, we're just sort of leaving that kind of open at this point. We'll see if we. We manage to put something together for the, and if no, then whatever if we can do, short solo sets instead, you know. But uh, but yeah, I'm really I'm looking forward to that as well. I got the the car in with your hands from the airport, so we're gonna do some stuff as well. Um, just just plug in and go. It might be more of a it'll be more of a club oriented set for sure. Um, but other than that. So yeah, no, the building is great. It's great. It's such. It's like, it's like, uh, what Skipo is is an airport. This is, is a like for like a hub. This is like a crazy hub of, you know, great heads, great, com yeah, social musical environment. It's fantastic. Yeah, I've never been anywhere like this in my life. You know, I'm 52. I've been making music. <coughs> 35 years, it's the first time I've come across somewhere like this. It's brilliant. Ik heb normaal gesproken nodig je een paar mensen uit en dan ga je met elkaar zitten en dan ga je heel gefocust op één ding zitten. Maar in dit geval dat het er in één keer zoveel zijn die allemaal wel iets interessants te melden hebben. Um, ja, dat maakt het gewoon heel leuk om zo'n week te ondergaan. En dat maak ik niet vaak mee. It's quite interesting working with so many people in a space and uh, that's completely new to me because it blew my mind.